This segment demonstrates how to assemble the 175 pound tow broadcast spreader. To begin, slide the spreader plate, part Z, down and onto the impeller shaft. Next, secure it using an eighth by one and one half inch cotter pin, part O, by sliding it through the hole and then bending the ends out to secure it. Now align the hopper, part T, onto the impeller shaft. Ensure it faces as shown. Next, slide the Delrin bushing, part P, down and onto the impeller shaft. Then secure it using the hairpin agitator, part N. Now, onto a quarter 20 by 2 inch hex bolt, part D, slide on a clip, part Q, and nylon washer, part H, and insert it into the hole on one corner of the hopper. Then repeat for the opposite corner. Next, onto a quarter 20 by 2 inch hex bolt, part D, slide on a quarter inch flat washer, part G, and a nylon washer, part H, and insert it into one of the remaining holes in the hopper. Then repeat for the opposite corner. Now, fully secure all four bolts using quarter 20 nylock hex nuts, part J. Next, slide in the grate, part Y. Now turn the assembly upside down. Then remove the lock nut and washers from the crossover tube and leave the bolt in place. Now align the hitch tube and loosely secure it with the nut and washer you just removed. Do not fully tighten it. Next, align the outer braces with the hitch tube. Then loosely secure them with a quarter 20 by 1 and 3 quarter inch hex bolt, part E, and a quarter 20 nylock hex nut, part J. Do not fully tighten it yet. Now onto the left side of the axle. Slide a spacer, part L, followed by a 3 quarter inch washer, part I. This side of the axle will not have a hole in it. Then slide on a wheel, part R, ensuring the valve stem is facing out. Now slide on a quarter inch washer, part I. Then secure by inserting an eighth by one and one half inch cotter pin, part O, and bending the ends outward. To install the right side wheel, slide on a spacer, part L, followed by a three quarter inch washer, part I. Now slide on a wheel. And insert the quarter by two inch drive pin with ball, Part B. Next, slide on a 3 quarter inch washer, Part I. Then secure by inserting a 1 8 by 1 and 1 half inch cotter pin, Part O, and bending the ends outward. Next, turn the assembly over onto its wheels. Then, insert the end of the flow control rod with a single bend, part AA, into the flow control handle. Now insert the other end of the flow control rod through the hole in the slide gate bracket under the hopper. Then, align the control tube, part S, with the hitch tube, part V. Now, loosely secure it with two 5 16 18 by 1 and 3 quarter inch hex bolts, part C, and secure it with two 5 16 18 nylock hex nuts, part K. Do not tighten it yet. Next, align the inner braces with the flow control mounting tube and loosely secure them with a quarter 20 by 1 and 3 quarter inch hex bolt, part E, and a quarter 20 nylock hex nut, part J. Do not tighten them yet. Now go back and fully tighten all the bolts installed up to this point, making sure not to collapse the tubes by over tightening. Next, align the hopper strap, part U, and secure it at the front using a quarter by one inch hex bolt, part F, and a quarter inch flat washer, part G, and a nylon washer, part H, and a quarter inch nylock hex nut, part J. Then, repeat the process to secure the hopper strap in the rear.
Now place the cover on the hopper. Next, insert the hitch pin, part A, and secure it with an eighth inch hair cotter pin, part M.